What's happening, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. As you read in the title today, we're doing Q and A. We got some good questions, so stay here to the end. I put two polls up, one on Instagram and one on Snapchat to let my followers and friends on Snapchat to ask me questions. And uh, it's some good ones on here, so man, let's just get straight to it. Question number one is, how tall are you? I am like six six and a half. If you want to be like specific, but uh. I just say 6'6". Six, six. Some people say I'm 6'7", but I don't think I'm 6'7". What food have you never eaten but would like to try? I would have to say oysters. People say oysters good, but I I, I think it's kind of weird like how you got to... Uh, like, uh, I think... What's the... The movie with Terry Crews really made it to where I thought oysters was weird. Like how he was sucking the, the oyster. Next question. That, that one kind of sucked. Oh my god. Is water wet? The big question. I don't know what year that was, but this question was taking over the world. Is water wet? I would have to say yes, water is wet. I know all these people in here try to break it down and stuff, but yes, water is wet. What's your favorite movie? Uh my favorite movie is Sandlot. Since I was a little kid, I always like Sandlot. Oh, no, 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 I lied. Home Alone. It don't matter which one. Preferably the second one. Yeah, Home Alone, definitely. I, I do like Sandlot, though. I oh, don't know. That's, that's like side by side. Who is your favorite basketball player? Y'all see him right here, man. Kawhi Leonard is definitely my favorite basketball player. Uh, I got others that I really like too, like Blake Griffin and Jimmy Butler, but Kawhi is definitely my favorite basketball player. Question. Oh, hold on. Who is your favorite artist? If you know me, you know my favorite artist is No Cap, coming straight out of Bama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's definitely no okay. I know almost every song by him, including unreleased music. Explain yourself in three words. Um, I would have to say I am unpredictable. Uh, trustworthy. I'm big on trust. You got to be able to trust your friends and your family. And probably uh protective. I really I'm really protective on family and friends. Like I won't let them get messed over or anything. They get into situations, uh most of my friends, just about all of my friends can call me and if I can do it or if I can help, I'm coming to the rescue. What do your tattoos say? Okay. Boom. Well, y'all see that one. It says love all. Uh this is a tattoo that I got with two of my other cousins, Donisha and Pumpkin. But we got our first name, so I said Andrea uh, Akron. That's where I'm from. So this tattoo got a lot of detail, actually. So the Alabama A, the K is a bullet and deer antlers. The R is for Rollins. Uh, the basketball is the O. And uh, it says, go as far as it will take you. And then the N has a baseball bat, because I, I really love baseball. So I thought I was going to go pro for baseball when I was younger, but... Thing called a curveball changed my mind. Couldn't hit it. Then you got the road that it takes to get to Akron, which is 60. And then the street I grew up on, 5th Avenue. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? I love music. I love every day. And life is a gamble. So the dice are on 9-9. Nine, nine. I've been gambling since 99. Uh, my now tattoo, the time is now. Then we got this, second to none. Because I'm second to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I always trying to come to first. And then 205, the here is 5. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my phone. That's my uh, my phone code, 205. And then we got the crosses. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, oh, then I got humble on the inside of my arm with the praying hands. I got a lot of ink. And I want to get more. Oh, it's not my chance. Um, this is John 316. I do know that Bible verse by heart. I ain't going to say it just to keep the video short. Or not keep up. Keep it long. Got the three crosses, you know what I'm saying? And then I got God is greater than the highs and the lows. You know what I'm saying? I really, 
I like all my tattoos though, definitely. Especially the lion. It's probably my favorite. This one or the acting tattoo, my favorite one, because this is my favorite animal. What is your dream car? If you know me, you definitely know my dream car. Because if I see one, I go crazy and I talk about it. But my dream car is a black Hellcat with neon green accessories everywhere. Like neon green calipers, neon green on the black rims, neon green uh, on just like the outlining of the car. Just the Hellcat summer neon green, SRT neon green. All the little things neon green, but I want an all black car. You know what I'm saying? Do you think aliens exist? This is kind of a weird question, but like, I don't know. I honestly don't think that we could be the only thing living, like, maybe in the Milky Way, but I don't think we're the only thing living, like, ever. I don't know, though. I don't know. It's a, that's a creepy question. What are your goals? Uh, well, my ultimate goal is to just be successful, but if you want me to get into it, uh, I want to be a millionaire within three years, three to five years from now. I want to be a millionaire. Um, I definitely want to be a pro basketball player. I plan on achieving that goal by next year. Uh, and I just plan on having a happy and healthy family. Those are really my goals, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I want, to, I want to start my own brand within the next year and have multiple businesses and be able to just go back to where I'm from, Akron, Alabama, and just uh make a change, man, make a difference. You know, be the change as some people say. Uh have you ever been caught trying to sneak and do something? Definitely. Haven't we all? <laughs> the one story I can remember though, uh I just told this story recently to one of my friends. Me and my cousin Cam, when we was in elementary school, we used to always go home the short way, but we had to pass like a trap house. Like it was a house where they like sold tr drugs and it was always just people, like it was a bad thing to be around. Always people just in and out. So we'd, we'd take the shortcut, go through a fence and be like right down the road from my grandma house. But like once my mama and daddy and my grandma and my cousin Cam mama like knew that that house was a bad house. That telling us like we had to stay on the road like and go the long way. That added like a five to ten minute walk though. So we just thinking like we can get be home three minutes if we take this way. Well, we decided to go that way one time, and my mama was getting off work, coming to pick me up at my grandma house, and uh, she was like, uh, "Where y'all coming from?" We was like, "School." She was like, "I ain't past y'all on the road," and we was like. Uh, and then it's like, uh, y'all came through that way? And we was trying to say no, but she definitely knew, and we ended up getting, we both ended up getting a whooping for that. But, um, <laughs> that, that was real funny, man. Free my cousin Cam, though. How did you get good at basketball? Honestly, I really didn't get good at basketball till like, I was all, I was always okay. Don't get me wrong. Like, I was just trash and then got good. But, uh, like 11th grade was when I really started being like, oh, you can go to college. Like, you can do a little, you can do more than just play high school basketball. That was when I started dunking easy and actually making plays instead of just, like, straight layups. Like, I was actually making jumpers and stuff. And then got to college. And I didn't really learn to work out and stuff for basketball until, like, end of my senior year. That was like, yeah, you got to work out every day. You got to do this every day. So I I'm I know I'm nowhere near my peak now because I just started working out almost every day four years ago, five years ago. How did you get your balance? Okay, like I said, I was I was dunking. I think I dunked the first time, eighth grade going into ninth grade. Uh, eighth grade going into ninth grade. My freshman year was my first time dunking. And then... I didn't have bounce then though. So I didn't get bounced till we, we used to run heels all the time. So I think them heels at Hale County really gave me my bounce. Like that's why I'm bouncy. And plus it's a little genetics. I think my dad my dad always tell me stories and I see pictures of him getting up like elbow over the rim type stuff. You know what I'm saying? What movie quotes do you use on a regular basis? 
we was just me and my teammates was just talking about one day in the locker room. Uh, the scene from Holes, the I'm tired, Grandpa. Do that, man. <laughs> yeah, that scene. Here it goes. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. That scene is definitely top tier. That that's one of the fun. Anytime that comes up on Twitter, somebody retweet it. Cause that that scene just funny. And uh, last but not least. What's something that you hate hearing? I don't really hate hearing anything. Oh, um, well, as an athlete, I think all of us hate hearing this. Uh, when your coach says on the line, you just like automatically know like y'all finna just run. Most of the time for us, it's at 33 though, which is three down and backs at 33 seconds. And I just hate hearing that, bro, because you already at practice and you're a little tired and that just makes you even more tired and he expects you to keep going hard after he just married a little bit but yeah I, I hate hearing that I can say that's something that I hate that's all for this video thank y'all for watching it thank you for watching all the way through don't forget to like and subscribe please subscribe to the channel man we growing I would I love seeing the growth of this channel and I really think YouTube is for me like I fell in love with becoming a youtuber man so thank y'all for supporting me and my dreams see y'all soon with another video icky out too long my brother